All right, we can go no further uh, on this show without talking about the passing of Jimmy Donovan. That news broke yesterday. The longtime voice of the Browns, longtime sportscaster down the dial, WKYC. Uh, Jim Donovan was as good as they come as far as sportscasting in Cleveland. I'd see Jimmy around town, and he'd always say hi to me. He was always so friendly that way. And uh, I, anytime you got a chance to have a conversation with him, you wanted to have that conversation with him. He did not call your games. You had Nev. But he did call your games, Josh. You probably have a few good stories. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, you know, I used to seek out the games and the touchdowns that I scored that Jimmy would call because of how he would introduce me. Every time I would get into the end zone, the great Josh Cribs, and he started that, the great Josh Cribs. So when I had my um, contract issues with the Browns, I had scored, I was kind of holding out in training camp, before training camp, OTAs. And I remember Jim Brown saying, you know, just go out there and play and show them what you can do. I went out there in preseason, scored a touchdown. Jimmy Donovan announced the game. He said, you know what, I, you know what they should do? Renegotiate his contract. <laughs> what happened on Monday? They renegotiated my contract. He ignited the fans. Um, Deion Sanders got a, a hint of that. And he, he coined me pay the, pay the man because of Jim Donovan putting it out there in the atmosphere. You know what I should do? They should do renegotiate his contract. So I just have so many fond memories of him both calling the game yeah. and commentating with him when I commentated over there at uh, Channel Channel uh, 3. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you knew. I mean, he certainly covered the team when you were yeah, there. Yeah, he covered the team, and I, but he never covered our games, and so he was in the city, and, you know, I know he was well-loved in this city and, and by everybody. And, not only at the Cavs, the Indians, and, and the, the, the Browns, but he was just a good person to be around. And so he was so special. And when he did call the games after I started coming back, I got to hear how enthusiastic he was about calling these games and how much he loved Cleveland sports. I got to be in the booth with him in 99, first year the Browns were back. My program director at then WTAM, where I worked before coming here, asked me, hey, they need an extra spotter. Do you want to help out? As a young broadcaster, I wanted to do play-by-play. -play. Yeah, I think I rearranged a flight that day to be in the booth. It's Jimmy Donovan, Doug Deacon, Dick Goddard did the stats. People don't realize that. It's, I walked in that booth. I thought, why am I even here? Like, I don't I'm not even, I can't believe they even let me in. Donovan was great that day. I did that a few times. He always made me feel like a little bit of a part of the team. He was friendly, uh, super professional. I got a bunch of Jimmy stories, but that's my favorite. I was just aw in awe of watching this guy call the Browns games. It was awesome. Cleveland will miss him. Cleveland sports casting will miss him. And our, our thoughts with the Browns and our friends down the dial at three and, of course, Jimmy's uh, family and friends. The tailgate continues right after this.